Yeah, I've uh, I've always been into astrology, but not anywhere near the level of what's real, I guess. But I was, you know, even being young, I'd be opening this. My dad always got the Saturday Star, and I'd flip it. Barely would I ever read so. much in yeah. a newspaper, except the horoscopes <laughs> was one of the things I read. I'm not even sure why. I don't know if it was like I felt it, I resonated with some of the content they would come mm. out with. And, like, is that even – is that even I – mean, there's so many – there's only a few words in that. I'm like, how do you really sum up yeah. what millions of people are born in though that – how many days are between? Uh... Yeah, I mean, horoscopes have been around for millennia, really. So there's a lot of valid uh, taking. I mean, there's a lot of information that you can get from from horoscopes. But um, most people look at their sun sign horoscope, which is what they do, because most people look at their season. So they want to know, you know, I'm born in April, so I'm an Aries. Or you're born in December, so you're Sagittarius. So... Most people are looking at that. Um, that is definitely more generic just because it's not as personalized to you. Um, but a lot of times if you do get a little bit more into astrology, and not everybody's going to get into astrology uh, more deeper than just knowing that I'm born in this season, I'm probably an Aries or I'm probably a Taurus, whatever, right? Um, but if you do want to kind of search a little bit deeper, then you want to kind of find out what time you are born. And then that gives you a little bit more of a specificity to that, which is when you can realize your sun, moon, and your rising, because you have not just one sign, you have all the signs and uh, lots of planets in specific signs. And that's what creates the kind of conglomeration of you. And that's what makes you unique, as opposed to not every Sagittarius is like Angelo, not every mm -hmm. Aries is like me. So, um, that's what kind of creates the specificity. So a lot of times um, I instruct people to look up the their sun, moon, and rising, which you can do online for free. You can go to astro.com and uh, type in your birth, your birth date, all your birth information. You have to know what time you're born, though, to really get specific in that. Um, and then you can uh, look up the your horoscopes. When you're looking at your horoscopes, a lot of times people tend to resonate more with their uh, rising or ascendant sign. They're generic, yes. Uh, that's kind of their design because it's most people don't know their astrology. Most people don't know that there's anything more to astrology than your sun sign. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, you know anything beyond that. So, so yeah. I mean, the, but horoscopes have been around for since astrology really, not since astrology began because astrology began as astronomy and then taking meaning and extracting meaning and symbolism and archetypes from the astronomy of everything um but after that then horoscopes started to be uh written up and the you would have a consulting astrologer that would tell you at this point in your life certain things are going to happen and at this point in your life certain other things are going to happen and this is what's going on this year and so on and so forth so um and that's kind of what created the more mainstream modern upheaval of astrology within the last hundred years or so of people getting back into that stuff which is which is cool you know mm -hmm. it's good helps me pay my bills <laughs> <laughs> so, so generally speaking um and i don't know if you're able to give a general answer to this but um in because every newspaper is different let's mm -hmm. say like a generic newspaper horoscope what does it get right and what can it generally out. Well, it leaves out most of the specificity. Like, if a newspaper says, Aries, you could uh, get a good business opportunity this week, it's like, okay, but I could get a good business opportunity any week, come to me, you know, and I could do that. So, on one hand, you could say that's pretty generic and, you know, yada, yada. It's not, it's not very specific. Um, that being said, uh, the, when you start to learn more about your astrology, you start to learn what's called the big three in astrology, which is your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, or your ascendant. Um, and you start looking at horoscopes with those three signs. Um, you start to kind of get more of a more of a feel for that. So it feels feels more specific in that way. So sun signs are supposed to be generic because it's kind of supposed to be things that almost everybody could resonate with. Um, for me specifically, though, I am the unique person not really unique about half of us are 
this way as well, but I was born at night. So when people are born in the day, they tend to resonate more with their sun sign, tend to, not all the time. Uh, and when people are born at night, they tend to resonate more with their moon sign. Mm. So looking at the astrology, that's why astrology is usually hit or miss, you know, with those horoscopes and stuff. People either are like, yeah, I, that makes sense. Or no, nah, I don't resonate with that. And for me, that was always the case. I would read Aries and eh, I don't really resonate with that, you know. Uh, and then I found out there's a lot more to it than <laughs> than just that. And um, the obsessive <laughs> rabbit hole began. <laughs>